Hey guys, say hi boys. Hi. Hi. Where are we? At Mommy Land. We're at Mommy Land. So yesterday, Grayson had his soccer game. Today, um, we are meeting my sister Allison and we're gonna take the boys to this cute little kids indoor play place. I've been here once before. We went for Grayson's birthday, I went with my mom. So if you, Go and tune in to Grayson's um, birthday vlog, his fourth birthday, and it's in there. But it's a cute little place. It's got lots of equipment for the kids to climb on, um, ball pit and toys, and they have trampolines, and the kids love it. And Grayson's been begging me to go ever since we went. And of course, Aunt Allison is a sucker, and he was begging her yesterday. I didn't even know he was doing this, and she said yes. So we didn't have any plans this Sunday morning, so we're gonna um, meet up and go for a little bit till the boys get tired. And then we might go out for lunch, depending on if we have time or we might just go home and do nap time. So we'll see, but we're just sitting in the car. We beat Allison here, so we're just waiting on her to get here. She should be here any minute. And then we'll go inside and I'll um, video a little bit of the boys playing because it's yeah. pretty fun. We've got our special socks on. They have to have like special socks with like grippies on the bottom to um, play at this play place. So we are going to go inside and have some fun. So I'll vlog a little bit for you guys. Keep going. You want to come this way? We made it inside and we're in the ball pit. They've been going down the slide. Porter's playing with the, I don't know what this is called, Planko. Put the balls in, he comes fun with it. <laughs> Good job, Porter. Hey guys. Um, so it's later in the day. We are back from mommy land. The kids had so much fun. I'm sure you saw the videos I took. Grayson just wanted to jump on the trampoline the whole time. He loved that. He did that like 90% of the time. And Porter, his favorite thing was they had these three little like little kid shopping carts and then you could put like fake food in them and pretend to go to the grocery store. And Porter just wanted to push that around the whole time. He kept calling it a suitcase because he likes to push like suitcases around, especially our little ones that have four wheels that you can just push. He loves pushing suitcases around. So he had so much fun. We had a great time with Allison. It was so nice that she was there. I would never go there by myself because the kids do completely opposite things like most of the time. There was only a few times where they like met up and it would only last like a minute. So definitely smart to go with another person. So we lasted a little over two hours, which is pretty good for the kids. So we did that and then we went out to lunch afterwards, came back here, portered in a nap, and then we've just been chilling here. Anthony went and got a haircut, which he desperately needed. So I'm glad he did that. And now, goodness, my watch is going off like crazy. And now um, I'm in Porter's room, if you couldn't tell. Um, still don't have his crib. So he's still in the pack and play and I still need to build that bookshelf. But I'm working in Porter's room right now because I am switching out his clothes. So Porter turns two in less than a month. It's just a couple weeks. 
and it's time for him to move up to 2T clothes. If I'm being honest with myself, I could have switched him to 2T clothes like months ago. He's just very tall for his age, um, but I'm in denial that he's big <laughs> and that he's growing. So I've been stuffing him into 18 month clothes all summer and it's been funny and he's a good sport about it. I don't think he knows any different. But now that he's about to turn two, I'm gonna do laundry tomorrow. I just think now is a good time to just switch out the clothes. So I have his 18 month clothes. Sorry, I cut myself and I'm wearing a Band-Aid. I put his 18 month clothes here and then here is my 2T bin. His clothes are all courtesy of Grayson. He's just gonna wear hand-me-downs, plus I'm sure I'll get him things here and there. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. I've got Porter here. And I've got Felix up here. They're supervising as I'm moving out clothes. Grayson's downstairs with Daddy playing Minecraft. Do you want to say hi? You want to move the camera? Okay, sorry about that. Porter took my phone and then um, pushed the button to end the video. So anyway, I'm here changing out clothes. It's always bittersweet when I do this because it's sad that I'm putting clothes away and I don't know when I'll get these clothes back out again. Um, but it's also exciting because he gets a new wardrobe. I get to pull out clothes that I'm like, oh, I remember when Grayson wore, you know, shirts and outfits like this. So it's always good to do a wardrobe change, but sad at the same time because he's getting so big. Yay. And he just put on some boots. Can you show me your boots? Oh, wow, look at that. He put these on all by himself. I'm actually pretty impressed. Wow, Porter, you got some boots on? I like it. The right way Mm-hmm. So I've explained this in previous videos, but my method for clothes is I like to hang all the shirts because I feel like I go through them in a even matter. Sorry, Porter wanted the boots off. I like for them to wear each shirt the same amount of time. I'm like so OCD about that. So I hang all the shirts and then I just go through and pick off and then move them all forward and pick off and move them all forward. Pants I just put away because pants you can wear with like almost anything. Um, but if it's a shirt or if it's like an outfit that has sh a shirt and pants, I hang it up. And then that's how I go through all their clothes. There's going to be a day where they just want to wear the same like two shirts over and over again. And that's not now. So I can still dictate what they wear. And Porter, Porter decided he is going to sit in the 18 month clothes that I just put away. Lovely. I would do this while he's sleeping, but it's in his room, so I have to do it while he's awake. So this is the type of shenanigans we get into, huh? Daddy? Go find Daddy, he's in the basement. Daddy? 